Now, while the festive season is marked with merriment, the talented Nigerian American gospel minister Ronke Kuti is using her voice to sing songs that praise and glorify God this season, making sure her music is touching souls and resonating with more people. She is here with us via Zoom to speak on her forthcoming project and music. Thank you so much for joining us, um, Branke Kuti. It's so good to have you here. So let's go straight into the question. How did you start your career as a gospel artist? I can say it has been, uh, joining this go go gospel journey is, is something that has been within me, is within my spirit. I always felt it anytime, any day, especially I, when I see some uh, artists, I mean, gospel artists being interviewed. I'll be receiving my spirit that one day I will be one of that. And since I love singing right from my childhood, uh, so it's something uh, I've been longing for. As you have said, uh, that uh, how did I move to that level? I moved from that level when the Holy Spirit started giving me songs to sing. Like, I don't look for songs, the songs come naturally and by the spirit of the Lord. So from there, I know there's something God want me to deliver to the world. Interesting. It's so um, good to see how passionate you are about your music. Tell us about your latest project. Yeah, my latest project is uh, Aya. Yeah, the, the inspiration behind it is Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit inspired me because uh, one thing about me, whenever I start worshiping God, just praising God from my innermost being, new song will just, just, will just come up. So that day I was just doing my usual, I mean, like doing my stuff in my house and the Holy Spirit inspired me. I know that this song, and sometimes, you know, sometimes we are in our low esteem and the Holy Spirit wants to inspire that no matter what you're facing, because people just think, once uh, you are up there, you, everything is okay for you. So sometimes you just think about your life and the Holy Spirit just give me that song that no matter what, I'm taking you higher. So it just gave me the song and not to minister to only me, but to others that are taking, well, where I don't know what to do now, but the Lord is saying he's taking us higher by his grace. Okay. What is your message for Nigerian gospel artists in the diaspora and in Nigeria? Yeah, this Christmas, I would like uh, everyone in the gospel administration, even my fans, everyone that is watching me, that this is a season of love because Jesus is love. God is love. So, and he came to this world to show love to others. So let's try to share love, show love to people around us. And this time around that everything is so hard in the country, we should try to reach out to people that cannot afford to take one me a day to share love to people around us because it is love. What should your fans expect from you in the forthcoming year, 2024? I, I, will, I will love people to expect uh, great and mighty things that is about to come. Uh, number one, I know I'm having a, a project coming uh, January 13th and it's called Praise Party. And uh, we, it's where people, we come together to just praise God because the Holy Spirit inspired me to start that and it's annually. So we are having one this January. And also there's so many songs that Holy Spirit has inspired me that is yet to come out. It's coming out this 2024. This 2024, I know and I'm sure that people are going to be blessed through my ministration. Finally, what do you have to say to people all over the world, people watching you right now? What do you have to say? My advice to people that are watching me that God has put in you to minister to the world just like me, I want you to know that one thing, the first thing you do is to put God first. Don't see yourself as the one to be seen. Let Jesus be seen in your life. Because you make him first, he will make provision for you. It doesn't start. My, when I came here, I was like, I'm all alone. Because in Nigeria, you can find people that can support you, your sister, even from church. But here, 
Everybody is looking for a way to get uh, money and they are running after money. But so far you have, God has committed to you, to you have the capability, you have everything. First of all, seek his face. He will make provision for you. That is what he did for me. I don't just start once I got it. It, it doesn't, it, was, it wasn't forthcoming like that. But let them put God first and pray. God will make a provision for them. He will bring people that will support them. So that's what I have to say to them. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, all the best um, with regards to your music. Ron Kekou.